So did it as a matter of academic interest, which card would you have gone for, sir? The three of clubs. The three of clubs. Is that a particular favourite card of yours? Uh, it is. Sir. It is. <laughs> you have a favourite card. It's a little sad if you don't mind me saying so. Isn't it? <laughs> Every man's got to have a hobby, haven't they? Anyway, that's quite a coincidence. I'll explain why, because before I came out and seen it, I had a feeling not only that the eight of spades would be selected, but another card. I actually took this card, placed it inside an envelope, put it inside a wallet, uh, which I have here. Uh, it's an empty wallet, apart from this envelope. You're probably way ahead of me, are you, sir? <laughs> not a clue. <laughs> not a clue what's going on, I suspect. But if I turn up in the end, there is in fact one side, one card inside, one card happens to be the three of clubs. All right, thank you. So, this is the impressive bit though, Mark. Would you be impressed if I had actually written the 11th of February on the back of this card? Everybody else would, apart from Mark. So, uh, so one in 365 chance, Mark. Bit of a miracle, I think you'd agree. Okay, we prove it. It's, uh, it's about there. So, uh, <laughs> Lynn, have a quick look at the envelope there. Is it a sealed envelope? Yes. Do you want to share it around with a glamorous magician assistant sort of style there, Lynn? <laughs> Very good, bit of a natural there. And I have here a knife, or as you call it in Manchester, credit card. Is that right, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> I think so, I've been there. And Lynn, inside here, I in fact have your P45, so. <laughs> Didn't Kevin mention that? Right. That little piece of paper, I'd like to take it out, I'd like to unfold it. It actually unfolds into four, if that makes sense. Do you need glasses, by the way, Lynn? No. no, you drink straight out of the bottle. Right on you. <laughs> Have a quick read of that, Lynn. You look, you look like you're having problems. Tr tr try that, okay. <laughs> Very useful in the bedroom. <laughs> well, the wife thinks so. So, Lynn, the important bit is the bit in the bottom right hand corner there. If you can make that bit out, mm. forget about the rest. I'll read that. It says, I predict that tonight I will meet the following person. Name? Nikki. Nikki, there she is. Uh, birthday? 30th of May. 30th of May, Clint. And from? Manchester. From Manchester, Peter. Thank you very much. <laughs> Signed, Ian Keeble. That's right, Cindy. Thank you. Very much, Brian. Thank you. So, are you concentrating on a significant year in your life, Steve? Yep. Okay, because nothing much is coming through at the moment, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, picking up, I'm picking up John's thoughts, which is slightly <laughs> right. <laughs> No, that's better. I've committed myself, Steve. I cannot change my mind. So very important. Nothing's been set up between the two of us. Is that correct? That's correct. No money's exchanged hands. Not yet. <laughs> no sexual favours promised. You didn't say not yet that time, did you, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> so, Steve, you asked to get this right. Would you buy a drink? Buy a drink. I would buy a drink. Yeah. For everyone. Oh. <laughs> <Hooray>. <laughs> Steve, for the first time, what is the year that you are thinking of? 1967. 1967. Well, I got the first two digits right. Anyway, <laughs> right. What happened in 1967 then, Steve? The year I was born. Alright, so you can remember that one, can you? <laughs> Very impressive. 1967, well, I haven't done too badly. Once again, though, I'm going to ask you because you've got the cracking eyesight there. What does that say? 1967. 1967! Thank you very much. Try again, I'll do it properly this time. So about a quarter of the way through, halfway through. Stop. Stop, excellent, I'll just show the car there. Now, I'm not sure if you can all see that in the slightly cheaper seats at the back, so is that any better? <laughs> Thank you. And, and uh, just for you, Amanda, because I know you're having problems. So you're thinking of a word, is that right? Yeah. You haven't discussed this word with anybody else? No. Okay, awesome. Uh, has this word got the letter A, as in A for apple? Has it got the letter E in it, as in E for elephant? It is, I'm going for all the vowels. <laughs> then I go for the consonants and we play countdown for 10 minutes. So, uh, <laughs> scrub if you've got jobs. Okay, so... <laughs> Alison, you can turn to any page in that dictionary, you could have chosen any word. What is the word that you are thinking of? Any great. I'll turn it this way up. It's actually correct. <laughs> cards in the wallet there. Can you see the cards in the wallet there, alright? Is that alright? Can you just hang on to the wallet, say? Is that alright? <laughs> What's it? It holds me?
Oh, you can't, can you, David? All right. <laughs> Don't worry, Gordon. Let me take the cards out myself. So that should be a lot easier now. So is that any better there? If you could just grab hold of the cards there. Can you just... Uh... They're still hot, are they? I'll cool them down for you. If you count quick, they should be all right. So I think they should be all right now if you count fast. <laughs> yeah. Are they right now? <laughs> Just count them quickly into my hand, one at a time. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Excellent. Unfortunately, we have to use a slightly different method to get you out of the chair, uh, David. But uh... <laughs> you must be used to this at airports, aren't you, Gordon? <laughs> Well, let me just take it back to, uh, just for a moment, if I may, because uh, it is in a bit of disgusting condition, I'll be quite honest with you. It's got a corner missing, it's obviously covered in lemon juice, as Gary would confirm. But if I give it, uh, what I'm trying to do here, what is, maybe attempt to squeeze some of the lemon juice out of the note. Sometimes, actually, if you squeeze hard enough, sometimes not only can you uh, squeeze the lemon juice out, but sometimes you can squeeze the corner back on. So what we have there is a completely restored £20 yeah. note. That is for you to return to Wally. Let's have a huge round of applause to Gary as he goes back to his seat. Oh. Gentlemen, just arriving there. You're a bit early, sir, because I'm still on. <laughs> Actually, we've all stood up and said a few things about ourselves. I don't know if we like to. Uh... <laughs>